Okay, Bolo Buddies, wait until you see this Goodwill haul. Oh my goodness. So here's my receipt. And I spent a total of $51.92. And I found some Bolos. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Seller. All right, let's get started. There was so much Halloween. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't normally go to the Goodwill first thing in the morning, and I will tell you that I went there right when they opened, and boy, oh boy, did it pay off. If you guys shop at the Goodwill, let me know. Do you go first thing in the morning? Do you feel like you find better stuff? Should I have bought those feet? Um, I didn't buy them, but maybe I should have now that I'm looking back. So I found some really, really great stuff. I'm going to walk you guys through it here. Look at these cute little owls. There's probably a lot of stuff that I passed on. I think those hold silverware maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But we are going to stumble upon some Bolo items. That was actually kind of cool, but it was just a home goods item. All right, so I did find this awesome coffee mug. And I went ahead and picked that up for a Chosen Goods reseller and shipped that over to her. If you guys have not seen a state sale, tells my husband to take it all for $5. Go check out that video and you will see why I sent her the pumpkin mug. All right, so this was kind of cool also. Maybe should have picked it up. Um, it's a little plush witch. Um, you know, some of these can do well, but it's probably going to be a bread and butter. I could be totally wrong. I didn't look it up because I was recording with my phone. So, um, yeah, maybe you guys can uh, look it up and tell me that I missed a bolo. Actually, don't look it up because I don't want to know if I missed one. I did pick up this little wig. Um, I did put it on auction. It did not sell, so I have it listed at a buy it now or best offer. I will typically do that with my items. If there's not a lot listed, I will start it at an auction price that I hope to get at least that amount. So basically, I start my auctions on the higher end. And if they don't sell, no big deal. I just put it on a buy it now or best offer. So again, this section was jam-packed. Um, I passed on a lot of stuff, but uh, I went back the next week and I found another big money bolo. So um, hopefully you'll see that in my sold soon. All right, you guys, these buckets, if you can find the vintage ones, they can sometimes be a nice bread and butter, sometimes even big money. Um, I don't think that one was vintage, but again, I'm not really schooled in uh, the baskets, so I probably should have done a little more research on that. Now, let me know if you see anything that you would have picked up that I passed on. I'm not sure. I think this was new. It, yeah, yeah, definitely new. Maybe I should have got that. Maybe I should have at least looked it up. Um, I was really just looking for more of the... Um, Big money bolos. I've got so much inventory. Like this coloring book was pretty cool. But again, I have so much inventory. And I wanted to get the items that I picked up today listed so that I could pop up screen shares in the video for an educational element um, to help you guys learn. Okay, so I definitely picked up these. These are trick-or-treat string lights. I've got those listed in my eBay store. If you would like to check out my eBay store, the link is down in the description of the video. Um, cute little candle pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. I didn't grab that. Again, I put this in my cart. I looked it up later. The comps weren't very high, so I went ahead and put that back. I did not end up buying that. Could I have made some bread and butter on that? Probably, but again, I've got lots of inventory, so Today, I really just picked up the items that I thought were going to be um, the big money bolos or, you know, bolos over $35.
So that was kind of cool also. Again, would love you guys' feedback um, down in the comment section. It, <clears throat> excuse me. If you see something you would have bought, please let me know. Okay, I have sold one of these in the past. It was, uh, mine was a bunny rabbit and it ended up selling on Poshmark. It was a boat low, but it took a long time to sell. And that one was not in perfect condition, so I went ahead and left that behind. These little guys, um, they can do okay. I've had some ceramic pumpkins do okay, uh, like this one. I have sold quite a few of these, and they go for decent money, but the ones I sold were marked on the back, so I don't know if that's why they sold for more or not. Okay, so I think I'm going to just chalk this one up to being a loss because I am not cleaning that. That is disgusting. <laughs> um, and the top of it had some damage. So um, I'm just going to probably donate this and maybe somebody else will want to buy it and take the time to clean it. But uh, the comps on it are not that high, so not worth my time. Okay, so I was super excited about this, but as you can see, it was in really yucky condition. And honestly, I did not want to have to clean those tubes out and get all that old, like whatever it was that they put in it to make it look like blood off of the mask. I was totally grossed out and decided to just redonate that and let somebody else clean it up. This guy I did list. I put it at auction style because I couldn't find any others that were listed like it. Um, I'm trying to think of what the eyes are called. Is it hologram? I think it's hologram eyes. Super cool item. I do have it relisted at a buy it now or best offer because it did not sell on auction. Um, again, I typically when I list things auction style, I don't expect them to sell. I just kind of hope for a bidding war, but if not, it's no big deal. Usually when my auction items sell, they usually get like one or two bids. All right, let's see. This was kind of cool. Probably could have picked it up and made a little money on it, but left it behind. All right, you guys, I did pick up all of these string lights. These are definitely a bolo item. Um, the prices that you're seeing, they have not gone to my 25% off sale yet. So... Um, they will be discounted by 25%. That one is already discounted. The first one was not. So again, yeah, blow mold um, string lights. They are vintage. They are harder to find, and they are a nice bolo item. Now, I've grabbed all the jack-o'-lanterns, but wait until you see what I find. That's not it. All right, we're going to keep looking here. We'll get to it. So that was kind of cute, but I don't know. Would you guys have grabbed the cat? This is some sort of like armor, probably goes to a costume. And looky here, you guys. I do have these listed super high. I have them at $175 or best offer. They are like a Dracula vampire blow mold um, string lights, and they are vintage and hard to find. These are bats. Um, I don't have them listed as high because they do have a defect. And would you look at that? I found me a scream mask. I've never sold one with the tongue, so I was really excited to find that. It is Easter Unlimited. Um, so I've got that listed at $135 or best offer. So I'm hoping to get some bites on that when as Halloween gets closer. I picked this up, I did put it in my cart, I comped it out, comps were not high enough for me to grab, so I went ahead and put that back. But yeah, just filling my cart with Halloween bolo items, it was awesome. Um, I probably need to go back first thing in the morning again. So that was like a Minnie Mouse outfit. Okay, so um, Mary Inglebright, I don't know if you guys have heard of her, but I have learned from YouTube about Mary Inglebright, so I knew that I should probably pick these up. Number one, Mary Inglebright is collectible. Number two, they were 99 cents each. And number three, they were Halloween. So I felt like 
with those three things going for the product, I was going to do okay. One of them has sold and I still have one listed. Maybe I should have grabbed these Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Uh, they probably would have been a nice bread and butter item. I can't remember what they were priced at. This one here, I wasn't sure if I should pick it up or not. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I don't even know who it is, but um, there was no body to it. It was just the head. So I went ahead and left it behind. That may have been a mistake. Um, it looks like a character I should know, but I have no idea who it is. Some pirate hats. Probably should have grabbed those. They were kind of cool. Um, this mask, I was looking for any type of branding or marking. I didn't see anything, so I left that behind. Um, there is another big money bolo that I pull out of here, and it has already sold, so keep watching, guys. Hang with me here. All right. We're going to work our way around to the other side, and we're going to look at some more Halloween items, and then I'm going to take you over to the toy section. So these are just like towels. I don't think they were vintage. Maybe they were. Um, maybe I should have picked them up. These little ghosts were kind of cute. There's so much that I could have grabbed, but um, I've just got to be more <laughs> cautious of buying everything because I have so much stuff. This witch was pretty cool. I couldn't find any comparables on her. I may have missed a bolo here. I'm not sure. I don't know if she's just handmade. Um, I was looking for a tag. I couldn't find anything. Again, maybe I should have picked it up. It was kind of cool, but I think it was $13, $12.99. Um, so a little bit high for, well, I guess it wouldn't have been high if it was a bolo, but you know. Um, if anybody recognizes that witch, let me know. This was more current. These were more current. Um, I was hoping I was going to push that buck button and it was going to start working, but it did not. So uh, maybe there was an on-off switch. I'm not sure. All right, you guys, we're coming on another item that I picked up. This is another blow mold. It lights up. It's small, very, very small tabletop. That is listed also. Definitely vintage. Can usually tell by the plug if the item is vintage or not. So I definitely put that in my cart. These are all new old stock items. And where's the bolo? I know we're getting close. Super excited about this one. Um, if we ever get to it. Okay, here it is. Sold for $80, you guys. It's a retired Halloween. Um, it's like a witch um, with long fiber optic hair. And uh, it's really, really, really cool. Uh, I do have a video on my reseller testing products if you guys want to see how it works and how it looked all set up. I did open it up to look inside um, just to make sure it was in there and just kind of to see what it looked like because... You know, I couldn't really tell from the box, but she was in there. She worked. She was complete. She did have a defect at the bottom of her dress, um, just where the material was kind of coming away at the seam. Not a big deal. Um, super, super cool item. And again, it sold for $80 pretty quickly. So um, I did see this and it said Disney and it said Department 56. And I thought that this was going to be my big money bolo. Little did I know the witch was. But um, this is not a big money bolo. I will make a little bit of money on it, but not much. Uh, so just because you see Disney and Department 56, still look up comps. Uh, the top of that, the little railing was off, but I was able to put that back in. No big deal. It just kind of uh, came uh, undone there and it was easy to fix. So it is good to go. And... I grabbed some toys, not many, but I'm going to tell you about that once we get over to the toy section. First, I'm going to take you through some of these items. There were some um, plates and uh, glassware breakables, I call them breakables, that I passed on. I think that I definitely could have made some money on them, but um, you guys know how I feel about breakables. I am not a big fan um, of shipping items that break. So, uh, I left them behind. They were, um, 
Linux brand. And I did comp them out just to make sure there was nothing like crazy. I probably would have sold them individually. Um, that's typically what I like to do because I don't like shipping a bunch of breakables at the same time. If I, I'll do one plate, I'm pretty confident with that. But when you get like plates and cups and saucers and you try to put them all in one box, that just makes me really nervous. Um, Toledo Antique does have a video where they show you how they um, ship, oh, what do you call it? Fine China. They had a huge set of uh, fine China that they shipped and it was a big money bolo. And when I say big money, I think it was like four or $500 they got for it. And they walk you through the whole process of how they um, packaged it and everything. So you can check out Toledo Antique to see that video. Um, but yeah, it just takes so long also to ship that type of stuff. So unless it's going to be like huge money, I'm going to part it out so that it's easier to ship or I'm just not going to buy it. In this case, I just didn't buy it. So we're going to come up here on that Linux here shortly. I'm pretty sure it was this video. I'm probably talking about it and it's not even the right video. Um, I'm pretty sure it's this one. There were actually like, I think, two or three different sets. Um, so I'm checking stuff out. I'm, I'm not big into this type of stuff. I'm more of, I like toys. I like Christmas. I like Halloween. I like made in Japan. Um, those are kind of my things. Okay. So here's some of them. So you got that one right there. I think those were Linux. Um, there were several that I picked up and looked at, um, right here. These are definitely Linux. And I should have tried. There you go. Maybe the other ones weren't, but they're really pretty. They've got the nice rim and maybe I should have picked these up. It was whatever that price says for the whole set. What do you guys think? Would you have bought the Linux plates? I mean, they're really pretty. Those are not Linux. I know there was at least one more set. So I'm just kind of looking for brands Sometimes I'll pick up breakables, um, but for the most part, I just I just don't do it. I Usually when I do, I bring them home and then they sit and I never list them. So what is one item that you do not pick up? It's a hard pass because it's just not your thing. You know it'll sell. You know you can make money, but you're just like, it's, I just, it's not worth the effort for me. <laughs> Mine is definitely breakables. Okay, here are more. I think those are not, or maybe they are. I can't. Triumph. Triumph. I can't remember if the, that was a Linux brand or not. Um, yeah, lot, I mean, lots of decent stuff. Definitely could have flipped for a profit. This is kind of the boring part of the video in my opinion, but I know so many people like this stuff, so I wanted to make sure that I got it in the video so you guys could let me know. Maybe, you know, I'm not super educated in this area, and maybe you are, and maybe you can put some info in the comments that will help someone else learn and help me learn. Okay, these were Lennox, and they were the cups and the saucers and... um all of that stuff. They had kind of a greenish uh, rim to them. So it was a very nice set, but <laughs> that looks scary to ship. So I passed. Um, the only breakable I got was the mug that I sent to Chosen Goods Reseller. That was it. Um, I think everything else was safe, plastic or... <laughs> All right, we're over here at my favorite section, the toys. Actually, today, my favorite section was the Halloween because it was amazing. Um, but I definitely wanted to check out the toys. And I did come back like a week later and found an amazing um, tote of toys. But, uh, okay, so this is what I ended up buying. And I ended up parting it out. Um, what I saw was right here, this is the Fisher Price Little People and it's from the Zoo Talkers. You can sell those individually for a very, um, uh, under $10 each, bread and butter. So I knew I wanted to grab that. 
I ended up listing all three together because their condition was not perfect. It, they had some scuffs and some like marks on them. So I just went ahead and, ahead and lauded those. But definitely be able to turn that into, I think it was two or three listings I got out of that. So a nice bread and butter item. All right, so I've never heard of Zurika, but it is a cranium game. Um, most of those do not have a lot of value. They do have barcodes, so they're really easy to scan and look up comps while you're in the store. Um, I'm just looking for anything really old or um, something that I know that is a bolo. I didn't spend a lot of time scanning things because honestly, unless I know it's like a big money bolo, I don't want to have to figure out if all the pieces are there um, because typically if I get one and the pieces aren't there, I end up parting it out, which takes a lot of time. Um, in some cases, it's worth it. In other cases, it's just easier to take the loss and donate the item. All right, you guys, we are getting to the end here. Um, definitely an amazing Goodwill shopping spree for me. Um, I don't really score much at the Goodwill, so this was super, super exciting. So I did head over to um, the gowns, and I almost bought this. Let me know what you guys think. It is embedded like crazy. Um, it's, it's really beautiful, but I decided to pass on it. I'm not sure why. Maybe I should have bought it. What do you guys think? Would you have picked up this amazing dress? It looks like, I think, $15. It was vintage, and uh, I would love you guys' feedback. It's sequins and beads. Yep, $15 and whatever that brand is. But yeah, pretty amazing, right? So would you have grabbed it? And how much would you have sold it for? <laughs> Listed it for? All right, you guys, we're going to talk about those toys real quick. All right, so I'm home now and I've dumped them out to make it easier for you guys to see. I already popped up screenshots of how I listed them, but um, most of them are Infantano, I think is the toy brand, and they're just little toys that I think you put in the bathtub and can spray water out of. So I put all of those in a lot. I listed the Zoo Talkers. There were three of those separately, and then um, there's another Zoo Talker, and then... I just sorted and listed. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.